enormous crowds out there today, and then the support for the Radio Shack team in this year's tour. Yeah, I think that the Tour of California finished on a, on a spectacular high today. The stage was was phenomenal. The crowds were Tour de France-esque, and um, you could really feel the excitement as you were climbing up you know, the, the circuit every time. So it was very exciting, and I think the race was exciting. It opened up at the end, and uh, the, you know, the GC favorites were attacking, and, and um, I don't think we could ask for anything more uh, for the last day of the Tour of California. I was happy to take part in it, have good legs, and uh, looking forward to next year. so difficult today, and were you taken by surprise? I think, I think it was the climb, every lap. I mean, it was, uh, it was a tough climb, five kilometers, uh, you know, in the, in the small chain room, as we say, and um, it wasn't easy, you know, up. When you do it four times, you go up, down, around, and it's a circuit, so every rider knows exactly what the course is like, and it makes it more and more competitive as you go around. I mean, everybody knows where to be, at which point uh, in the peloton at, around the circuit. So, uh, circuit races always seem to be faster than the normal stage, and uh, this one, I gotta say, was a spectacular circuit. Uh, yeah, I mean, you just, at that point, the race is open, and you're down to just the favorites, just Dave and myself and Michael, and uh, it's up to Michael. He's got the lead, he's got the jersey, he, he has to defend it, and when, when Dave attacked, you know, I let him, let Michael do the work, and when I attacked, Dave let him do the work, and, and if that goes on long enough, you know, you can, you can get away or you can break that person, but, um, you know, we, we gave it a good try, just unfortunately it didn't, didn't happen. Did you feel at any point that you might have a chance of breaking him ever for a moment? Yeah, there was, there was a moment when uh, I jumped and he wasn't making up the ground. He started losing a little ground and then Dave came across to me. And, uh, you know, we both had a team, each had a teammate just 10 seconds up the road. And I thought, oh, here's our, here's our real opportunity. Uh, to, to win the race, but somehow Michael clawed his way back and you know, showed why he's, he's the, the winner of this Tour of California. How disappointed are you? Obviously, before the race, you said you finished second. Yeah. Is that still true? Well, you know, um, there was a lot of expectation for me. I mean, I won three in a row. and. There's a lot of expectation and a lot of pressure, and mostly from myself, and uh, that's to win, and nothing else. But am I, am I disappointed? I not at all. You know, I'm, I uh, I rode well. I gave it everything I had. I, I think I was the main animator of the race, and and I have to take uh, pride from that. And I'm just you know I'm looking forward to next year. Looking forward to the first mountaintop finish in the Tour of California. <laughs> <laughs> where, where would you place the Tour of California right now among the, the world races? I think it, in my opinion, the Tour of California has grown uh, exponentially quicker and bigger than any race in the history of cycling. You know, the Tour de France and the Giro. They have a hundred years on, on the Tour of California, but are they a hundred years ahead? I don't think so. Of course, the Tour and the Giro, they're bigger races. They're three weeks long. Uh, they cover much more distance. You know, the, Everything about it is bigger, <coughs> mainly the history. But I think the Tour of Cal California, you know, AG, Amgen, Medalist, have done uh, it's just record-setting pace uh, as, as far as building this race to be let's say, the third, fourth biggest race in the world. You were going to talk about the flat tire. Yeah. How, <laughs> how wonderful is that? Um, I had great legs today, and 
when you have great legs and you know the moment is coming and you know that you're going to be the one to make the moment, you get it just builds upon itself. And I was getting very excited because uh, I felt awesome. I told I told the team to get ready. Johan asked me how I was feeling. I said, um, "Make sure you're watching because I'm going to go for it." And then right after I said that, I think I must have jinxed myself because of the, I had a rear flat. It, it took a little bit of the sting out of my legs to come back, but uh, it didn't uh, discourage me from trying to, to break open the race. Did not have last here today hurt at all times? Yeah, not just today, but the you know the last uh, three four days definitely hurt our team. I mean, we were, I think, in the beginning of the race, we we had great control of the of the race. We were. Uh, by far the best team, and then having lost Lance and, and really as well as Chechu, Chechu soldiered on, but uh, he's you know he's in bad shape, so uh, that weakened our team uh, a lot. You guys seems more and more clear that the possibility of you beating Radio Shack's guy at the tour is, is going to be the reality. Lance is just kind of setback after setback. Is that something you're starting to kind of embrace? No, I wouldn't say that at all. Cycling, cycling changes from week to week, month to month, and you know our plan is we we have myself, we have Lance, and even Andreas, who've all been on the podium, and of course Lance has won seven times, and we need to have as many strong guys uh, as possible to go up against a phenomenal Alberto Contador. I mean, he's proven he's the best rider in the world. He's won the last four Grand Tours he's done, and, and we're going to have to. Uh, keep all of our pieces, our chess pieces in play as long as possible. And, you know, it could hopefully be a situation like what you saw today in the race, at the end of the race where uh, we had three guys in the lead group there and we start attacking and, and if, if he's alone, like Michael Rogers was today, that's our chance. How much has the tour changed, the tour California changed now that it's moved to May? Has it made it harder? Um, well, the competition has definitely risen. You know, I think that I was in as good of shape as I have been the last three years, but the difference is now you, you see a couple other riders who are on the same level. I think it, it, when it was in February, I was very focused on the race. You know, I stayed in Santa Rosa and Sonoma County, and for three months I just, um, you know, whipped myself into shape trained very hard and came into the race uh, basically just more prepared than anyone. I was raring to go and and I think I just caught everybody by a little bit of surprise all three years and now everyone's had some races under their legs and, and uh, used that to come into form and, and now it's, it's uh, as you see it's not so easy.